Welcome back to GearWire. My name is Bill Holland, and today we are looking at the Access Virus TI. Now, if you remember from last time, we looked at the filter bank, but this time we're going to get into the actual programming of the synth. Now, I can't go into the uh, software because they haven't sent it to us yet, but we do have the hardware. So we're going to look at to how, from a very basic standpoint, you open the box, you've got the keyboard in your lap, and you're ready to program your own patches. We're going to go through how to do that and the various parameters you can change. Now, whether or not we actually look at everything, that's another story, but I'm gonna get you started on creating your own synthesizer with the virus. This keyboard, although I've heard otherwise, was actually really easy to figure out. Um, I think part of the advantage to that is the fact that they've successfully combined analog components with digital components, which most companies are starting to really do pretty widely now. My first keyboard was purchased in the late 90s, early 2000s, when most keyboards did not have analog knobs on them. I think the most prominent one that had a good amount of control on it was, I think there was one by Oberheim, and there was, of course, the, um, the Nord Lead, which was huge when it came out. Now, I've created a patch on here called GearWire. Yeah, I know, it's kind of Keith Emerson, whatever, not a big deal. Uh, let's look at what you get when you first open a patch. Now, in this case, you have three value knob controls right here. These control whatever you want. You can actually go in and set it to different parameters. In this case, we have vibrato, glide, and pulsates. Let's take a look at what those do just for a second just so you have a basic idea of control when you're first looking at a patch now remember this could be anything this could be reverb delay chorus flange whatever you want to put in there all right so keeping that in mind you realize you can apply pretty much anything to this patch let's hit edit um, right now it says unison one you have the option to put a unison filter on here. Right now the pan spread set to 127, but the voices are off. Let's see what happens if I turn that to um, twin. Or five. You'll notice the duplication of voices. And I can detune it to give it a little bit of a bigger sound. Notice it sounds all big and prog rocky. Um. Okay, <laughs> enough of that. But Unison, you'll notice, has one of two listed here. That means that when you use the parameter key, see, you can use the parameter key to go back and forth between the different parameters, one of two is accessed. In this case, we also can edit LFO phasing. <laughs> 